Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle in front of us. Uh, now this one has a little bit of a backstory. I think it's the second in two um, puzzles that were created um, by this uh, setter in um, honor. That's not the right word, but in with um, uh, a nod to Silk Song, which is a, a Hollow Knight game. I've never played any of the Hollow Knight games, so I don't know any of the lore of him, but it's one of those things actually I, I wanted to play it, but I've never just had a chance to do it, never gotten uh, the uh, the ability to, to get to them. But um, apparently a lot of people love that game. Uh, well, the first one and this one now that just came out recently, but um, I'll have to give it a try. I'll have to try to get myself to play one of them and, and see if I really enjoy that. But anyway, rambling aside, uh, this is what this is for. So um, it's called Hornet and the Bell Beast. I guess if you've played these games, you will know what any of that means. I don't, <laughs> but it's by Radiant Songbird. And um, let's just jump in the rules because there's quite a few rules. and There's a lot going on in the screen. So we're going to have to try to dig through all this. But normal Sudoku. So every row, column, and three by three box will contain the digits one through nine once each. Digits on bronze Kropke dots must be consecutive. So these are these guys here. So instead of the white, they're using bronze. Apparently, um, there's, there's probably some uh, very strong reason for doing that uh, in relation to what the game is. But um, So instead of the white circles, we have bronze circles. That means consecutive digits. Now, digits on black Kropke dots must be in a 1 to 2 ratio. So that's our normal black Kropke rule and using the same color. So these guys will be in a one to two ratio or one of them will be double the other. Digits on a gray or orange large circle must be odd. So that's all of these guys. And there's no difference between them. They just have different colorings, again, probably due to the theme of this thing. So they will be odd. Digits on a red square must be even. So that's this guy. Digits on a dark German whisper line must have a difference of at least five. So this is the darker line here. So this will act as our German whisper. Again, color per theme. So if whatever this digit is, this one's going to be five away from it. This one, five away from there, and so on and so forth down the line. Digits on a light Ren band line must form a group of non-repeating consecutive digits. That's this guy down here. So to some sort of repeating digit, but it doesn't have to be in any order or non-repeating digits, excuse me, I misspoke there. So it could be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. And then we have digits on a quadruple must appear in the four surrounding cells. So these guys here will have a three and a four on them because they have the three, four quadruple there. So um <clears throat> Less intimidating than I thought it was. I thought we were going to have some kind of crazy things going on with a lot of these things, but it seems like it's really more theme-based than making any kind of um, modifications to rule sets here. So it looks fun. I like I like the graphics of it. I think everything's beautiful. So let's get into this thing and see if we can figure it out. Link's in the description below. Let's get at it. So I'm going to start by filling in some of this normal stuff that I fill in just because that's what I like to do. These were odd, right? Uh, where am I? Yes. Okay. One, three, five, seven, nine. And then we can start removing options from some of these. And these can't be threes. This can't be a three. These can't be threes. This one can't be a three. Okay. This is just a one. There we go. We just had to get through all of our processes, which means this is a two. So there's the two we need. Now this is the three because the bronze crop keys are essentially white crop keys. This three means this is a six. Now this can't be a three. One of these two will be. And actually we do have, we have a, an X wing on threes that I just hadn't gotten to yet. So this is a one. This is a two. That means one of these two is going to be a two. It's obviously not that one, so it's you. Now this could, no, this has to just go one way because if it's, these are, again, consecutive digits in a series here, we can't go down to the one because we'd have to come back up to the two. So it is two, three, four. This is not a three. 
and we have the two, three, four now. For, so this guy is done on its quadruple. We know one of these two has to be a three. Well, can't be that one, so it's this one. Good. Uh, what else do we now have? One of these will be a two. And none of the, oh, this one here is not five, seven, or nine as well. And it can't be a three because we have the three, six pair over here. So this is another one. This is a two. This would be either a one or a four, and it can't be a four. So it is a one. None of you are ones. Let's keep removing those options as we go through. You and you aren't ones either. You are not a three. Okay, you are not a one. We're just doing cleanup as we go. All right, so what did that tell us? I thought I was looking at something else here. I feel like I got distracted um, by something else that I was working on, but maybe not. Maybe it all worked itself out. Oh, the three here says this is our three. And I don't think we can... Oh, wait, the four is just pointing at it. So yes, this is our four. Good. Okay. Again, just have tried to find things to look through when we've got so much stuff going on the board. Now, this is part of a Ren ban. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can't necessarily say what the Ren band is just yet. Uh, yeah, I was going to start thinking about the if there's a two on this thing or if there's a one on this thing. I thought we were going to, when I started looking at it, I was like, well, there can't be a two anywhere, but this could be a two. Um, and then the one as well could be here. I guess though what that does say is then we can't have both a one and a two because none of these can be ones or twos. So if there's a one or a two, it is here. Otherwise, we have to take maybe one of those two and go up. So we're going to have a four on this thing. It can only be one of those two. We're going to have a five, but I don't think we can say where the five goes yet. We will have a six. Again, we can't say much there. Seven, same thing. Okay. So I don't think that's as far as we're going to go with the Ren band for now. But let's uh, see if we can do anything more. What about you? You have to be from one, two, four, eight. This is not a two, so you're not a one. These have to be consecutive, so this can't be a two because we can't put a one or a three here. If it's a four, this is five. If it's an eight, this is seven or nine. Don't know if I want to put that in yet. This can't be a one. So we do have a four, eight pair here. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Five, seven, nine here. I don't know if that does much for us. We know one of these is going to be the three or the four, which means... This can only be three, four, or five. I guess that says there is a four on here. Now, it could be the three, four. We don't quite know, but it does have a four. Because we obviously, we can't put a two on it, and we can't put the three and the four down here with the two. So I guess that gives us an X-wing on fours. Does that help us in any way? Kind of, because it means this one can't be a four, because this is a German whisper, so one of these two is. Okay. Uh, what else can we get into here, then? Looking around. We're not on to our German whisper yet, so we can't say a whole lot there. Um, one of these is a one. One of those... Oh, this one can't be... Okay, this is the one. Because we have these guys here that rules out all of these, uh, this one here rules out here, and this one can't be the one because we'd have to put a two here and we can't. So this is our one. That means this is our one, and as I say it, we are now on our German Whisper. So we can start putting in the values of the highs and lows. Uh, low, 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 low. One, two, three, fours. Let's go into these and say this is the one. 
This is not two or three. This is not one or two, and it can't be a four, so it is the three. Keep checking back to make sure this can't be the four, so it is a one. You're not a one. You're not a one. You're not a one. Uh, these guys could be fours. You could be a four. The three says these are going to be an eight, nine pair. Okay, that means this is the four and the eight. That doesn't tell us which one of these is which. There is a four and one of these two. I guess I can put that in for the moment. These are not fours anymore. So we get a one, two, three, which means you're not three. We have an eight, nine, so you're not nine. These guys here are going to be from five, six, and seven. That's not all that helpful, to be honest. Uh, what else can we say? What about you? We haven't even touched this guy yet. He, This guy has to be a high digit, so it's either six or eight. Therefore, this is either three or four, and it can't be three. There we go. This is four. This is eight. That's going to put the four here. Let's go continue with our high digits. This can't be a two, so this is. And... Do we have anything on these guys that we can do? Let's put them in, and then we'll go back and remove options. These can't be eights. This can't be a six. This could be anything. Oh, no, it can't be eight or nine. But six or seven works just fine, because it has the ones on each side. You can't be a six. I think that's it for what we can do at the moment. This one is an even digit as well, right? Yes, okay. Um, can't be two, can't be four, so it's either six or eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, not quite a triple there. Oh, the three. We do know there's now a three on this thing, so it is the three, four. And this has to be from five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Five, seven, eight can't be five can't be nine so it just is seven or eight which means this is not a five so this eh, not quite if this is eight this is seven or nine this can't be seven this just is eight there we go which means this is six this is not eight that's a seven nine so this is five you're not five or six so you are seven Good. That makes you a five, you a six, you not a six, seven, nine pair, which means you are five. And we know what you are now. What are you? You're an eight. So you have to either be a seven or a nine, which gives us a five, seven, nine trip, which means you are a six. Beautiful. One of those two will be six. What else can we say now? The four we said went with either a three or a five, and now it can't be a three, so it is the five. These guys are from two, seven, and nine, and this one can't be the two, so this is. This is seven or nine. Good. Moving quite well. This is a one. I just noticed that because of the one, the two, three pair looking at it. Um, let's jump into some Sudoku, because I think I noticed, yeah, the ones are just done. The twos are probably, yeah, this is a three and a two. <clears throat> that three says this is nine, which means this is seven. Now let's go back to our Sudoku, though. Uh, did we finish? We can finish the twos. Yep. Okay, let's go into the threes then. One of the, oh, this is just a three, five. No, I thought we might have that one. We don't just yet. But we do now, because this is a three. Five, three. That should have ended our threes. Yep, once we put the four, three here. Good, let's move on. Uh, one of those two is a four. Can we use this crop key to work it out? We can. This can't be a four, because this can't be a three or a five. So let's put the four here and the four here. And let's get back 
to it. This is the last four. Perfect. All right, let's keep going. What is this digit? It's just a given nine, it looks to me, which is going to break up our seven and nine. That's going to give us our six. This is a given seven. This is a given eight. These two are five and six. We can do that. Five, six. Good. This is an eight. What are you guys? I know I'm kind of jumping around here, but there's so much going on at once here. So um, seven, eight, nine. So this is the eight. This is the nine. This is the seven and nine. These guys are going to be from six and seven. We can't put another seven on our Ren Ban. Six, seven. This is not seven. Oop, wrong button. This is not seven. Oh, this actually just is a five which means this is seven, which means this is nine. This is five. This is eight and nine. Uh, what are you guys to five and nine? So we can put those in. What are you guys? Six and seven, so we can put those in. And let's see if we can do this without even using this clue. <laughs> Just for fun. Six and nine, yep, this is six, this is nine. Yeah, we can. We don't need this clue here, but that's okay. Um, seven and eight. Yep, this would be seven, this would be eight. There we go. Having a friend is nice in this strange place. Where will Hornet and the Bell Beast go next? I have no idea, and I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> but it was a fun puzzle. Um, admittedly, this wasn't supposed to be any... Um, type of diff real difficulty to this guy is just supposed to be a fun puzzle. Uh, it certainly was. Got through it pretty well and everything really worked together. I'm sure there's, I noticed that this one wasn't necessary. I'm sure there's going to be other uh, bits of these things that don't necessarily have to be in here to solve it. But sometimes when you're going into a puzzle where it's the aesthetic that is the key, that will occur. So perfectly fine by me. If you don't use some of these things, you don't use them. They're there if you want them. And if you don't, you don't. So anyway, very fun puzzle. I might have to go back and look and see if I could find the other one of this one. And there might be another one after this as well, if they keep this kind of series going, just to see if we have any other ones that might have a little bit more difficulty or um, might give me a little bit more lore, some things that uh, I can kind of get interested in and maybe jump in to try to play this game. But anyway, fun puzzle. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, join, donate, buy merch, do whatever you can helps this channel out. Appreciate it, everybody. So uh, that was it. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.